Hi everyone, so today I thought I'd film a nail polish storage video. I've got quite a few different products that I use to store polishes, so I thought that depending on the size of your collection, that some of these may be suitable for you or might give you some ideas. So I'm going to show you each of the products. I will leave links in the description bar wherever I find them for each of the products that I talk about and the ones that I show you. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. So just to give you a little bit of background about me, I am actually a qualified nail technician. I used to work above a salon. I used to have a small room that I used to work from there. Now I do have an old video, which I'll leave a link to below, which is actually a room tour of where I used to work. And also all shows you all of the products and implements and tools that I use. So if you do want to check that out, you're welcome to do so. But now I work from home. I have a home salon. I mainly work here. But on the occasion, I will do a mobile appointment for, for example, a wedding or something like that, whereas perhaps the person can't get to me. So for that reason, I do have the racks that I'm showing you now and also some solutions for kind of mobile work as well and smaller storage solutions for the polishes. So the rack that I'm showing you here, there's actually two racks. So they're side by side. They're from Amazon, but you can get them from eBay as well. They were around £25 and they hold between 40 and 50 polishes each. So you're looking at at least 80 polishes that are on this stand that you can see now. Now, of course, if you're using uh, OPIs and they're going to take up more space, but I probably could do with getting another two of these stands as I could really do with more um, space on the wall for more polishes. But that's the first and main uh, storage solution that I have for a lot of the polishes here. So on to my mobile solutions for when I do do jobs that mean I need to travel to someone. Obviously I need to keep the polishes safe and not kind of smashing together or anything like that. So I've got these rolls that I think they're called a, a Rue Beauty Roll. Now these were designed by a pretty high up nail technician and author um, called Marion Newman. Amazing nail technician and she designed these um, just to kind of be useful for someone on the move like myself. So they've got the velcro there and you unroll them and as you can see I've got more polishes there. So obviously these are a good idea. They hold 12 polishes. You can get these from the beauty supply stores and online. They have got their own website but obviously you will get them a little bit cheaper if you are um, part of the industry so that's a good thing but I know that you can get these from all kinds of places including eBay which is always typical. Everything's available on eBay but they come in different patterns so I have got two of them. There's the other one that I've got there. Now I think that it's a good idea to have the different patterns just because if you do have, for example, like a pink roll, a red roll, a neutrals roll, so you can kind of grab to each ones that you want depending on what the client's after. So it is good to have those. And then I'll show you the next item which kind of ties in with these two. So this is the next item. As you can see, this is also by Rue. It's got kind of little handles um, just at the front there. And if I just zip it off, well zip it undone I should say, you can see that it's got this spongy kind of centre to it. It holds 20 polishes and it's just a really good idea. You can remove this sponge so that obviously it will hold more but of course they have got more of a potential of clanging together and potentially smashing them. But this is a good idea. It fits China Glaze fine. It fits OPI fine, which I think are the kind of the biggest bottles. So it is a good storage solution. To be honest, over the rolls that I've just showed you, if I had my time again to buy more, I'd probably just buy these. Just because compared to the roll, the roll holds 12, these hold 20, and these obviously stack a lot better. So if you have got like a mobile case that you use, then at least you can kind of stack these all up on top of each other. Whereas the rolls with them end up being circular, they kind of take up more space and a little bit more awkward to pack in a bag. So I definitely do recommend those if you've got a chance to buy them. I think that they were a tiny bit, this was tiny bit more expensive. But again, I'll leave a link, I'll search them out. And if I can find them, I'll leave a link to a website that sells them. 
Another thing that I have to put storage together and for mobile use is this beauty trolley or a beauty case. Now to be quite honest with you, anyone who's trained as a beauty therapist, nail technician, um, hairdresser perhaps, may have thought about buying one of these. In my opinion, they're just not worth it. The reason for that is because obviously you use them on a mobile job and this is just so big and clunky and if it hits the side of the car then obviously you've got a scratched car as well but I will show you what it looks like uh, just in case you are interested. So here is the top section open as you can see if I just do that it's got kind of all little bits in it at the moment as to be honest as I say I just don't use it this was uh, around £100 so it's not exactly a cheap a piece of equipment by any means but it's got all bits there it's got kind of sliding drawers if I can push them in you can see that it all kind of slides together and the lid goes back on but if you take off the clips which I'll show you now so shut it all back up and then if you see that it's got these clips here so I'm just going to take that one down and then there's the same on the other side and then this top section this section that's like here that completely removes so that you can get to this bottom section here so there is the top section off and of course you can just use that with the carry handle so in that respect it is good because if you do want to just use that top section then it's not too bulky and it stores a fair bit of kind of equipment so there is the other part you do actually get an extra I suppose it's a lid a top to that so if you do want to carry it separately then you do have that option to have the um, smaller section and then this pull along section here so if I just go in there you've got these clips here which I'll clip off on the other side and that goes down there like that and then you can just pull out this section and I've just got various little um, things in there so that is all of that and then of course as you can see it has got a large trolley handle so you can pull that right up and obviously pull it along with you and it is on wheels so that's that as I say it's not the best thing that I would recommend so I'm going to show you what I actually use as this as you can see is completely redundant so I'm going to show you what I actually use instead for mobile work but this is what I use instead so all this is is a small soft suitcase I bought it from Argos they don't do it anymore but I'm sure that they do something similar in quite a few other places but I just find that this is easier to get in and out of the car with and again I just put the roux rolls directly into this so that is all of my nail polish storage as I say, I do have a lot more nail polishes than what you've even seen in this video. So what I try to do is to rotate them with the ones that you're looking at on this stand here, just so that the clients have different choices to go from and they don't get bored with the same ones. And also so that my polishes do kind of get used up and they're not just left sad in a drawer or whatever. So I do try and do that. Now, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to me, I'd love it if you could subscribe and hit that little button. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, I'll leave a link below. I'm always showing pictures of nail art, client nails, different trends and all kind of fun stuff like that. So you're welcome to do so. And obviously you can talk to me and I will always reply if I can. So thanks very much for watching.